Buckle up and pucker up because we're going on an unforgettable roller coaster of an inning. Shall we begin? The 2015 ALDS between the Blue Jays and the Rangers is remembered for one specific moment in particular. If you know, you know, but give this video a little time to see what it's about if you're unfamiliar. This series won a full five games with two teams that could not have been more different coming into the season. The Texas Rangers were the most dominant American League team in this decade so far and went to the World Series in both 2010 and 11 and came oh so close to winning in 2011. Back at the wall, it's off the wall. One run scores. Here comes Berkman. Freeze has tied it. We love Nelson Cruz in this channel, but yeah, we had to show that. Sorry, guys. The Blue Jays hadn't made the playoffs since 1993, where they actually won back-to-back -back championships. The Jays had some great talent on their team after that, but no playoffs in over 20 years to this point. 2015 is when their paths converged, though. Toronto won 93 games, winning their division and finally going back to the playoffs. Texas won their division too, but the playoffs are a little more of a norm for them at this time. When they met in the first round of the playoffs, Texas came out and won the first two games in Toronto. In a best of five series, that's not good for Toronto to say the least. But they rallied back and pummeled the Rangers in Texas to force a game five. And in that game five, excitement was in the air. Marcus Stroman took the mound for Toronto, Cole Hamels for Texas. Through six innings, this game was a low scoring dogfight. Two to two score, no controversy. Then came the seventh inning. The 53 minute absolutely absurd 7th inning of this game that was wild enough to become the focus of this video. Alright, so where do we even start? I mean, god, they really don't call it the unforgettable inning for nothing. I mean, there is no possible way you could ever forget this inning. The chaos starts the Blue Jays catcher Russell Martin throwing the ball directly into the handle of the hitter's bat while trying to throw it back to the pitcher. There was a runner on third base, and luckily for Texas, he had the situational awareness to take advantage of this seemingly free run. Because nobody had ever really seen this happen before, they spent 18 minutes trying to decide what to do. 18 minutes. After this, the umpires decided that since it was a live ball that just so happened to be thrown in the wrong place at the wrong time, the run counts. A scene of chaos erupts. It's a scene to behold. And that's just the first happening of this unforgettable inning. On its own, that occurrence will be talked about for years. But the second half of the inning was definitely going to be the longest and most important, to say the least. Coming from someone who played on a mediocre high school baseball team, this next sequence I'm about to show you is extremely hard to watch. The series of unfortunate events starts with Elvis Andrus, the Rangers shortstop, dropping a routine infield grounder to lead off the inning, letting the batter get to first base easy. Oh hey look, that batter was the catcher from the top half of this inning. Win some, you lose some, Russell. But hey, I mean, you can't get too down on the guy. I mean, everyone misses a ball every now and again, right? Well, maybe a ball. But this Elvis Andrews catastrophe is far from over. Second batter at the bottom of the seventh comes up and hits the ball to the left of the first baseman. Seems like a pretty simple play. The first baseman is too far to get the batter out at first, so he throws to get the easy force out on second base. But when he throws the ball to Elvis, he misses the scoop. There's now two runners on base, both due to his errors. Yikes. Don't worry, we're not done yet because the next batter comes up. His name is Ryan Goins and he's not trying to hit it out of the park. Because the Blue Jays pinch ran a fast guy at second base, Goins just wants to lay down a simple bunt directly to the third baseman to move the runner over. Easy, right? Well, maybe for the third baseman because Elvis seems to be having the worst game of his life. Yes, for the third time in a row, he has dropped the ball on an easy play and the runner is now safe. I mean, like, what else is there to say? At least he was the first guy named Elvis to ever play a World Series. Now, at this point in the video, you may be wondering if it's even possible for this half of the inning to go any more wrong for Texas than it already has. But if you look down at the time left in the video, you can clearly see that it does. Somehow, somehow it does. After the triple drop ball fiasco, the first out is finally gotten, but at a cost. Sweep the leg. Ben Rivera steps up to the plate and hits an easy one hopper to the first baseman. It's fielded cleanly and thrown back to the catcher to get the guy coming home out, but it seems the catcher was still a little too close to the plate. As the runner from third comes down to slide home, he absolutely power cleats the catcher. 
Thankfully, he does look like he kept his cleats pointing sideways and not straight up and down, as they seem to only really hit the side of the catcher's cleats versus his ankle. And if you've ever played high school baseball, you likely know how much damage those steel cleats can do to someone's ankle with that much force behind them. We then have a debate as whether or not the slide was actually interference and two outs should have been called, but according to the final call, no, it was only one out. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're still not done. The Blue Jays must just be messing with the Rangers at this point because the next batter that comes up is Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson won the AL MVP in 2015 thanks to bombs like this. But Donaldson doesn't hit a home run here. He hits an easy, short fly ball that anyone could catch any day, all day long. But this really isn't like any other day. And Rugnit Odor definitely knows this after that play. Not only that, but at this point, the bases were loaded, meaning this brought an easy run home and brings the score to an even 3-3. If you watch this inning without any context beforehand, you'd likely think this is either a scene from a comedy movie about a really bad baseball team or a high school game composed of a D6 versus a D1 school. But thankfully for Texas, they did manage to get an out on this absolute mess of a play. As if all this wasn't enough. As if they hadn't already been beaten into the ground by both themselves and the Blue Jays, Jose Batista steps up to the plate. Let's talk about him for just a moment. I won't say too much here because Matt already made a video on Jose that does a great deep dive on his career, but something to note from that video is this. Jose Batista was once the 27th worst player in history, but now he's here and he's put fear into the Rangers. That's because Jose Batista is now really good. He finished 8th in the MVP voting in 2015, 6th the year before that, and top 5 in 2010 and 11. He also hits nukes, like, a lot. <laughs> right With two runners on base, Batista has the chance to do some real damage. Roll the clip. This is the equivalent of making someone dig their own grave and then just blowing them up with dynamite instead. Did you really have to do them like that, Jose? Edwin Encarnacion is the next batter, and because the fans are so unbelievably hyped after that home run, they can't even really play right now. So he puts his hands up to the crowd to gesture that they should stop. The Rangers pitcher saw this as him pulling an Are You Not Entertained straight out of Gladiator, so the bench is clear and people start throwing stuff on the field again. This is bad. The inning finally ends when Troy Tulowitzki pops out. Inning is finally over. Oh, wait. Never mind. No, it's not. As the Rangers walk off the field, pitcher Sam Dyson gets a little handsy with Tulo. Like, <laughs> what is going on here? Anyways, the seventh inning is over. The Batista home run was the last time anyone scored in this game. The Blue Jays advanced and the Rangers, well, they went home. All good, right? Well, yeah, until May of the next year when Odor clocked Batista during a game. Still some resentment lingering there, I'm guessing. But how did 2016 go for the Rangers? Out there, throw to first. Oh, and what a play. But here comes a runner, Donaldson. He's safe. He's safe. He's safe. The ball game is over. No way. <laughs> a game-ending error in the ALDS in Toronto. Baseball is crazy. Well, that's it for today's video. As always, if you did watch to the end, go in the comments and type unforgettable. Anyways, gamers, have a nice day. Don't do drugs.